Just like I promised a bunch of times that the 2020 Christmas haul is here. And finally, I finally got my last presents. And here we are now. Hello everybody. What is going on, Knee Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another video. And today, after like 12 days, uh, almost two weeks, my my all of my Christmas stuff is here and I will be showing you the exciting stuff that I find really exciting. And I know it's now January and I just want to say a very Merry Christmas to you guys and I hope you guys are having a great year so far. And with that being said, let's begin. I will be showing you like the exciting stuff. I did get like um, some cream stuff. Um, one of them for like that I use my face after shaving for the other stuff. I'm not really sure. I still need to look into that. Look into that. I also have a nose cutter, and I also have like the tools for my eyebrows when I do my eyebrows and all that stuff. So yeah, a couple of things. Now with that being said, let's begin. So the the first cool stuff that I got racing socks because I do love me some motorsports and man oh man this is just amazing I love these socks I did wear them today for my job interview I just had and special occasion socks you'll love to see it and it's racing socks so yeah next up I got the NASA shirt my mom is a huge fan of NASA and I'm very happy for her that she loves NASA. And honestly, this is a very cool shirt. I know this is supposed to be like an art um, painting related stuff. I don't know what's it called. <laughs> I'm stupid. But um, this reminds me of uh, the Gorillaz album from 2005. Fuck, what's it called? Demon Days. Yeah, that's what the album's called. This reminds me of the Gorillaz album, Demon Days. It's so cool. Very cool shirt. All that stuff. And honestly, the best for last for shirts. And boy, oh boy, this makes me excited for IMSA and a Relix 24. Because I got me, I got a vintage Corvette shirt. For some, for, for those of you who don't know, as a more sports fanatic when it comes to IMSA, I'm a huge Wayne Taylor racing fan, and also I'm a huge Corvette fanatic. It was an amazing year to be a Corvette fan because it was the first year of the C8R, and after the pandemic, the the Corvettes were just winning left and right. the The Corvette number three team. And we're 2020 GTLM class champions. And I am looking forward to wear this shirt when I watch IMSA races. And man, oh man, I'm, I'm so excited to wear this shirt. This is a very, very cool shirt. This is like the 50s. Uh, this is the, the 57 Stinger, I think. And these are the 60s Corvette, I believe. Oh yes, I'm a Corvette fan, I am, right? I don't know anything. Well, I'm a motorsports fanatic, and I do love Corvettes in general, but I'm dumb. <laughs> but regardless, I love I love Corvettes. Whether it's an IMSA, WEC, when they race at the Le Mans, the 24 Hours Le Mans, or like on the public road, I, always, I will always love Corvette. All right, and the best for last for the Christmas haul, um... These came in, these finally came in today, and I gotta say, I am so excited. These are the best for last. I might as well show you guys both of them because I finally got a willpower hat. I'm so excited. I've been wanting a willpower hat for the longest time, and oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love it. And this is Willpower's 20... Fucking damn it. This is Willpower's 2019 Verizon Chevy Delara from, of course, Team Penske. Power won two races at, in the 2019 season at Pocono. The last Pocono race for now, hopefully. 
and Portland. It was not a willpower season, let's just say, but hey, he won two races. And, and same thing in 2020, it was not a willpower season. He won the first Mid Ohio race and the second uh, Harvest Grand Prix at the Indianapolis Road Course. And he finished fifth in points. I don't re really remember where Power finished in points in 2019. Was it top five again? Or was it outside top five? Somewhere in top 10? I don't remember, but I am so happy to have another Will Power diecast. And I really hope I can collect more IndyCar diecast in the future. If you guys want me to, I can do another review. Or can actually, I think I can show you guys the diecast right now. Stay tuned. All right, so this is where this is my diecast uh, uh, review station is at. Yeah, I know. It's. Eh, I did my best with the background designing. So yeah, this is Will Powers 2019 uh, Verizon car, and. We're going to open it up and let's see how it goes. From here on out, let's take a look at this sexy fucking car. So, this is my third ever green light die cast. And I'm trying to... What the hell? And I'm just trying to cut this. Yeah, that's what I did to my 2018 Power Andy 500 win and a junior one. And I... And I did better with the with the junior packaging better uh, with the power one because look at powers like I did the size because I thought it would open but apparently I did it wrong and then there's juniors you can tell like I didn't cut the sides so lesson learned alright sorry that this is taking forever. get this part and that's it all right so how else can i open this all right so i just gotta like go inside the packaging so give me a few moments so far i'm doing okay not too bad so i just need like just need to like try to find a way to open this I gotta do the other side now, so sorry, like, this is taking forever. Alright, oh, I don't wanna cut the, the, the little green light, uh, box information thing, only the plastic. And I want them evenly, like, the other side, so basically, I'm teaching you guys how to open an, a green light indie card I cast. If, just, if you guys wanna see it that way. Close enough, almost even. All right, there we go. Let's open this baby up. Come on. Yeah, I'll figure it out with the packaging later. All right, here we go. And I feel like I'm ripping something. I'll be right back. Oh my fucking God. After a few, few minutes of hell, I opened it. I opened it. I opened it. I don't know why Greenlight ha has that type of packaging. Holy hell. That is, oh my god. I saw Robbie Noonan's IndyCar collection video on Saturday, of course. A awesome collection, by the way, Robbie, if you watch this video. And oh my god, I know there was like a bad packaging somewhere in the mid-2000s, but my god, green lights packaging now, since, god damn, like a decade? To me, it's just, it's just difficult as hell. It's just difficult as hell, like, so far, the junior packaging that I opened is so much better than Powers 2019 and 2018. But anyway, it's worth it, so here's the die cast and... New car smell. And just wow. I, I love the Firestone uh, 
logo being white is better than Powers uh, being on red. And and this was before, I mean, the twenty uh, the early twenty nineteen IndyCar diecast, such as this one. It was released before IndyCar announced their partnership as a title sponsor, NTT. So that's why you can see the the classic, uh, not classic, but the but the IndyCar logo. So that's why you don't see the NTT IndyCar series logo. But if you get like an IndyCar diecast from 2019 that was released later on that year, then you'll see the NTT IndyCar series logo. And I gotta say, I love this. Fuck, this is so hot. This is so hot. God, like, this makes me want to get more IndyCar diecast in general. And I just gotta say, this is just beautiful right here. And this is, like, the 500th diecast made. And I just gotta say, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful... It's a wonderful diecast. Oops. It's a wonderful diecast. Very glad to own another IndyCar diecast. Of course, who else... But the god himself, Willpower, baby. Who else? And just a little quick side-by-side -side of Willpower's 2018 Indy 500 win and his 2019 car. And of course... Oh, there's a difference. Like, there's one logo here. I don't know what it is. Let me take a look. On the 2018, what logo was this? God, let me turn on the flash. So, this logo says Firestone. I can tell that's Firestone, but I can't tell the other part. And this one doesn't have any logos. So, how about that? And of course, 2018, it was Verizon IndyCar Series. And of course, the IndyCar logo for NTT came along. As you can see here, here's the front wing. It's just, wow. And the 2018 version has the Sunoco logos. Uh, bef and there was no any gas logo, so this was before uh, Speedway became like the official field of IndyCar, I believe. If you guys own the 2019 IndyCar diecast that was released later in 2019, did they have the Speedway logo? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure. Actually, oh, I'm looking at my juniors, and they do. Okay. And same side as the left. Just wow, this is just. Gorgeous. And here's the the gearbox, uh, the rear bumper, the uh, or rear wing. There's no bumper. This ain't the DW12. This is not the Aero Kits from 2015, 2017. And as you can see here, very of course, of course, very similar with like couple of logos uh, either not around or some that are like changed. But regardless, this is still a beauty. Go, Willpower, go. Of course, I forgot about this. Um, I got this Superman Crocs pin for Christmas as well. So this is the eyebrow stuff, nail clippers. I don't use nail clippers to cut my nails. But these are the Twizzlers, eyebrow cutters and all that stuff. I wish I had a razor for my eyebrows <laughs> for myself. And then these things, I don't know what they are, but I know this is like when you're, when you're done shaving. I got a nose cutter, but I need triple A batteries. And now the best ones, Corvette shirt, NASA shirt, racing socks, and the god himself, the willpower merch. Finally, a willpower hat and a willpower diecast. But God, I, I was surprised. I didn't expect the hat, so this is a surprise. I didn't expect the diecast to be here. It was supposed to be a surprise, not even know until I opened the package and it was a surprise. But I but god I love the hat as well. Finally I can wear it. So this is all my Christmas stuff from 2020. Alright everybody, that is gonna do it for today's video. And a couple of things before I end this video. One I'm going to be wearing this hat for videos now and also just wearing it more because finally I've been dying for a willpower hat and I'm so happy I got this hat. I love it. I love it. I fucking love it. Number two, I am working on a racing stories episode. It is something about the Daytona 500. Stay tuned for that. And that's going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much 
for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social media links in the description below. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. And thank you guys for supporting E Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.